Another day, another adventure into our Quake Aftershock, um, random shovelware. Right now, I'm going to be checking out something called Quake Talk, made by Simon Francis. Um, yet another, um, Quake C patch, which is why we're kind of checking it out, because it's yet another modification. Um, basically, it's a talk patch. Um, at least that's basically what it's supposed to be. It, it basically lets you shout random abuse at other players. So basically think your taunt system. Say like, um, Duke Nukem 3D, or like, I think like Brutal Doom does it. Um, so yeah, stuff like that. Um, and now we have it for Quake! So not all players will hear it at the same volume. Those further away will hear it more quietly, or not all. Um, it should also be in stereo. Um, you can broadcast as many messages as you like at the same time because he used something called Chan Otto, whatever that God's name means. Some talentless spuds may start sending loads of broadcasts in order to gain an advantage over a player with a slower computer. Um, to stop this, change it to basically Chan Voice. Um, and that's basically how you stop it from being infinite. Alright, um, other than that, let's see here, um... Other than that, basically just your installation stuff. Um, you basically can use Impulse 49, 50, and 51 to um, basically play certain sound files. So basically swaps between two different um, taunts for each impulse. And there's three different impulses, so that means six different sound files in total. Um, he eventually plans to rewrite this so it can be disabled by the server and so that there's a wait between sounds. Um, but of course, we have no idea if he ever updated it or whatnot. We, we got the version we got here. So he's also included um, the file MSKQT here. Um, this basically is for QTalk and Multiskins. Um, well, that's curious. Multiskins? Why exactly does this have anything to do with Multiskins? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm trying to figure out what exactly, like... L let me actually look at this file and see if like, I can understand why exactly there's a Multiskins file here. Um, because that's rather weird. Yeah, I'm not really sure why exactly there's this thing. Um, is this for Multiskins support? Like, does this allow me the ability to, um... It looks like it's the same um, file that I got from the last one. Um, what, what was that called? You know, because I'm looking at it like... It doesn't have the other th weapons, though. So I guess it isn't the same. But yeah, it does have multi-skin support. Okay, so yeah, it is there. It's all um, there, apparently. Really strange, but yeah, this basically um, your... 19 different skins or whatnot. Actually, it's 18. The 19th isn't what it's supposed to be, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be the Avatar, whatever that the guy's name that is, the Avatar. Um, of course, if I do that, I'm gonna find like Avatar: The Last Airbender, Avatar that. Let's see here. Let's let's switch it back to like 1990 sets or so. Let's see if there was something popular at the time. There was like. Um, Avatar based. Because, see, that's the problem. The Avatar is, like, way too many different things. Um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm really bad at my Google Foo, ain't I? But, yeah, basically, I'm not really seeing anything that really, like, I'm seeing, like, Ultima and Forgotten Realms and various things like that. But, yeah, nothing that really kind of fits the bill. Um, so, for the time being, I'm just going to keep that one under wraps and not really bother with that one too much. But, um, yeah, there is a 19th one, um, it just isn't really the one that's supposed to be, and there's also supposed to be a bigger one, but I've yet to find the multi-skin file for that. Um, but yeah, this basically seems to add multi-skin support, which is curious indeed, um, that, because that is actually rather nice if it adds taunts and multi-skin without all the, um, extra files that we saw last time. Um, last time, if you remember, we were playing, um, Happy Quake Server, or whatever it got to be called it, and we had all those new weapons, all these new different things, and yeah, it was, it was horrible. You know, it wasn't fun at all, because it was so overpowered that it w wouldn't make any practical sense in a normal level. 
So needless to say, this is rather nice to have actually something that's, you know, support multi-skin without being as crazy as that. Um, so let me try and get multi-skin going, see if I can, can, I can actually um, get it. I, I think I want to play it, place it. Where do I want to place it again? Oh, boy. Now I kind of forget exactly my um, folder structure. I think it's a progs. Yeah, it's progs is the folder. See, I just go to my folder, I make a prox folder, and I put this in there, and that should do it. Um, let's hope. But yeah, rather convenient little thing. Like I said, if we have our taunts and that, um, we got to go through 49 through 51 for the impulses. Other than that, there's really nothing that I know that really we need to be doing. Um, but yeah, feel free to do whatever you want with it to improve it. Um, he learned Quake C by reading other people's stuff. And, yeah, basically, the specifications were quite helpful. If you worked on either, thanks. Um, thanks to Id. He hasn't seen any other patches like this. But there may very well be, since it's quite easy to do. Does anyone know how to stop Duke Nukem crashing with more than three p uh, players over an IPX network? The game hangs. One machine has to be rebooted. But the others can quit as normal. Yeah, I'm not sure there's many people play over IPX in 2018, so I'm sorry I can't really help you. Um, for my third 97-98 year at my university, I have to do a placement year. Any offers would be appreciated. My course is BSC Computing, and my email address is at the top of this file. I don't accept... Accept? Any responsibility for anything bad this patch does, or anything you do with. If you like and want to email me, feel free. If you don't like, just delete it. Amazing. Amazing grammar. I, I feel really proud of that grammar right there. Okay, so yeah, all we really do is just bind the keys. We could play with the three. Um, actually, stupid question, but we have the multi-skin swap. Is that changeable via um, the Impulse 200 and 201 like it was in the other one? Yes, it is. It's the exact same Impulse as last time, people. So yeah, it's, it's exactly the same section that you saw in that Happy Fun Quake part um, for the multi-skin support. But without the issue of all the extra junk that we really didn't need. So yeah, rather nice. Let, let's actually go this thing up and check out um, our taunts thing or whatever. Um... God, it was like a message or something like that. Um, had to like load my config file up anyway. Um, but yeah, basically this is for QTalk or whatever. Let's see, let's load up this thing and see what exactly it's about. Quake Talk. Got you hear what they're about, right? Okay, so first thing first, we have our impulse 100 and well 200 and 201. That didn't really do anything. Game. Uh, I'm not really sure this is working too well. Let's see here. Bind uh, H Impulse 200. I can't spell it today, can I? Yeah, Impulse 200. Bind G to Impulse 201. Now we should be able to press these two and swap between them, but they're doing nothing. I don't know if that's just because there's no progs or dat that's really like showing all the tech stuff. Or if this is an issue of this particular one. Um, I'll actually have to like look afterwards and see, but it's definitely less intuitive than the other one, whereby you get that nice viewable message on the screen that told you what skin you had. Here there's no way to really tell. And that of course kinda of stinks. Um, so definitely not as intuitive as that one was. Doesn't really have all those Nice list of different stuff. Hmm. Okay, so let's actually go down here, I guess. Let's actually go to the fourth episode. Just because I want to do something a little bit different. Because it's annoying if we keep doing episode one every time. I don't know why I just did the whole nightmare mode selection thing, but oh well. Makes it more complicated. They're amazing. Let's see here. Alright, so. We have this. It really doesn't matter too much because this is mostly a deathmatch thing anyway. I don't think I can really taunt the enemies, but, um... By all means, I shall pretend I can. Let's see here. Bind F to Impulse 49. Then we'll bind, um, G to Impulse 50. And we'll bind H to Impulse 51. So basically, yeah, we have all three in nice succession row. 
and we should be able to swap between the two different sound files. So, if I press F, there we are! Okay, what the? Nazi peasants. What? What? Why is this a thing? I don't even know. Okay, we got Arnold Schwarzenegger. Combined with that Arnold Schwarzenegger skin we got, that actually could be pretty useful. Alright, time to kick some butt! And then play probably the most inappropriate weird way ever. Murder everything, finally! And this is how you make a junk wine! And so, well, this is whatever in God's name you want it to be. I have no idea. <laughs> and that right there is artwork. Yeah, there's really not much to this one, and people. There's um, those six different sound effects. But other than that, really not much to this. It's just basically your three different sound effects. Um, for each particular one, you swap between them and you combine like the six different keys. Well, three different keys and swap between the two at will. Um, other than that, there's really nothing to this. It, it's a really, really simple file, as you see. It's basically just um, modifying your progress so that you can have those six uh, messages. Like I said, sadly enough, it doesn't seem like it has a multi-skin support like the other one did. Um, I will have to actually check into that, see if I can actually, like, do it anyway. It just doesn't show messages. But yeah, it doesn't seem like it has, uh, you know, really, like, multi-skin doing the nice things that should be. Anyway, there's really not much more to say. This is a very simple mission. Thank you all for watching. It has been very, very pointless, and I shall see you all, I guess, it's something else.